Okay. So back to the Heathkit uh, 5 megahertz oscilloscope that I got. Um, it's running now for some reason. And if I adjust it, I can change it to the different settings. Okay. Uh, I have the horizontal. I have the vertical somewhat. Intensity. You know, it'll go out on me. Uh, the focus, well, the focus could be sharper, but I don't know. Um, different things, I guess. AC, DC, television. I don't know if they're all working. Line. They seem to be, you can switch them back and forth, so, I don't know, um, I have, that seems to do things to it as well, for the bolts, and, um, so, it seems to be working, the thing was there was, uh, two, green wires um well i have them i have the manual it's to uh a 4541 okay um that the oscilloscope if you can read back there it's a 4540 uh so the prints that i have i do have a pair of prints that are 4540 um, but I have a bigger, bigger set of prints to the 4541. I have all the documentation, the schematic and everything to the 4541. So, basically, I don't know if it's fixed or I don't know if it's going to go out on me again. But for right now, it seems to be working. Uh, last night I replaced all these transistors on the trigger sweep board and it seems to work that's the trigger sweep board right there uh, that's the vertical board the other one on the other side is the horizontal board um, the capacitor that was there did seem to work but I made up a new one so that's how I did it it seems to work on it so so far it seems to be going but I could still I need to change some other things I haven't changed the uh, capacitors on this yet but I think I should just because uh, I think this guy connected this thing to something that was higher voltage than what it could take because uh, there were diodes and a, a JFET that was blowing out and that came that's connected directly to that so on the onto the trigger sweep board so and if you're wondering why this thing looks like it's in such terrible condition uh it's because it was kept in a barn okay the guy who used to own this um worked in a barn had all his uh tv sets vacuum tube tv sets uh, down in the basement of a barn and so this was kept down there uh, when I got it the power cord was cut off of it which meant there was something wrong with it so but right now it's working uh, again so I don't know I'm gonna see soldering there's two green wires off of the transformer that when I touched them it brought the thing back to life so I have a feeling that there's a bad connection there with the tube. So anyway, maybe I'll see if I can solder them a little bit better. Um, so just a quick update. Okay, so it is working. I'll have to put a, a thing on it and see if I can get a signal with it later on. So anyway, all right. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.